Welcome everybody to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. Thank you all for coming today. We are so excited to be talking to you about how you can work better with your subcontractors using Job Nimbus. I'm Dan. I'm Logan. We're so happy to have you with us today. Now, we know a lot of you run large companies or companies that work with large projects that take multiple trades, multiple people working on those trades, and that you don't always have those people in-house. So you might be using subcontractors. Now, subcontractors are known for a lot of things, but sometimes subcontractors are known for poor communication skills. And this is somewhere that Job Nimbus can really help out. Using Job Nimbus, you can assign contacts, tasks, and work orders to your subcontractors and easily allow them to know, hey, this is what's expected of you. This is when it needs to be done. And at the same time, you can track what you've assigned on your calendar or in your contacts to make sure you're not overbooking any of your subcontractors. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first thing you need to do before you start working with your subcontractors is to enable the subcontractors feature. To do that, just go ahead and click on your smiling face in the top right corner, select settings from the drop down menu, and then select features from the settings menu. Scrolling down, we see subcontractor right here. Let's go ahead and toggle it on. Now with the subcontractor feature toggled on, we need to make sure that our subcontractor workflow is set up and ready to go. And lo and behold, Job Nimbus has already added in a subcontractor workflow for us. Now the difference between a subcontractor workflow and a contact workflow is that this checkbox right here is checked. This tells Job Nimbus that the people that I drop into this workflow are people that I work with and pay, not people that pay me to do work for them. You will also notice that there are two statuses here active and inactive, because all I really need to know is whether or not I am currently working with the subcontractor. You may also notice this big blue button glaring you in the face, notification preference. This is actually a really cool button. Clicking on it, I can specify how I want Job Nimbus to notify my subcontractors. I can notify them when they're assigned to a contact or a job, or when I create a task or work order and assign it to them. Now, I want to be as clear as I can with my subcontractors and have a good communication with them. So I'm going to leave all of these checked. And there, I am ready to go. Perfect. Now that we've got our subcontractors set up in Job Nimbus, let's go in and actually add one. So we're going to use the plus button up here to add a contact. And the first thing we're gonna do is change that contact type to subcontractor. Because like Dan said, we pay them instead of the other way around. Now we're gonna add in the first name, the last name. And we could also add in a company, but we're going to, for simplicity's sake, just add in an email address and we're gonna call that good. So let's save this. And here we are inside Felix Fix It. Now there's not much information here, but this is all the information that we need to assign Felix to one of our customers. Uh, let's go ahead and search for one of our customers, Christella, and we are going to add fix it to her page. In order to assign Felix to Grisella, we need to click on the three dots right up here and choose edit. On the right hand side under the assign to, you'll see this area for subcontractors. So if I look through here, I should be able to find Felix Fix It right here at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And since Dan left the notification button clicked for when a subcontractor is assigned to contact, he'll have just received an email saying, hey, you've been assigned Grisella and here's her basic information. But honestly, that's not enough information for him to know what needs to be done next. For that, we're gonna do a work order. Now we already have a work order built, so I'm just gonna enter it. But the idea of a work order is this is a measure of work that needs to be done. This can be as descriptive or vague as you'd like it to be, as long as you trust that the work will be finished. If we look at this, it says, hey, we need to do the, uh, the tear off, we need to put on the roof, and here are some of the materials involved. Ideally, a work order should be enough information for a subcontractor to do the job. So we're going to click on the three dots right up here, and we are going to email this work order right to any of our subcontractors, and we're gonna choose Felix. 
down here, we can choose an email template from our list of templates. And although I don't have anything specific for this purpose, I'll use the default, which basically says, hey, Felix, you've been assigned a work order. Check it out down below. And we're going to send this mail. And there you have it. Within the space of just a few minutes, we have set up subcontractors in Job Nimbus, added our first subcontractor, assigned them to a contact, and sent them a work order so they know what needs to be done. But that's not all. If you remember right, we can also assign tasks to our subcontractors and they'll be notified about it. So let's go ahead and do that. We can assign a task by adding a task and you'll notice that here there is a new text field for subcontractors. So let's go ahead and assign this task to Felix Fix It. Let's name it Roof Repair. It's going to be for today. Let's actually give it a time and it's supposed to be all day today. We also need to relate it to one of our contacts. So let's go ahead and relate it to Grisella and save it right there. Now that we've created a task, we can manage it on our Job Nimbus calendar. Now I've already go gone ahead and unchecked all of my team members, so I'm not seeing any of my team members on Job Nimbus except for Charles Schnell. I can also come down here to Felix Fix It and see all of my different subcontractors on my calendar. And there it is. The task that I assigned to Felix is right there. I can take a look at all the details of the task. Using the Job Nimbus calendar, I can easily see where all of my subcontractors are and what project they're working currently working on. This helps everyone stay on the same page and will make you more efficient and more organized. We hope that this has been of some use to you and that you've learned all about subcontractors and Job Nimbus and how to accurately assign them and track what they've been assigned to. If you've got any questions about subcontractors or anything else in Job Nimbus, please check out our knowledge base at support.jobnimbus.com for tons of articles and videos about every aspect of Job Nimbus. Or if you need a little bit of one-on-one -on -one help, reach out to our support team using the phone number and email at the bottom of the page. Thanks so much for coming and we'll see you next week.